the mono mid leg T skirt is black Yoshiki. Here's the sexy boo boo. Sexy boo boo.
inspires people like you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, a moment of reality. If you don't buy any of these dresses, I have to. <laughs> and there is not enough space in my wife's wardrobe anymore, I can assure you. So, um, yeah, do avail yourself. There's, there's, you know, the collection is stunning. The details about how to see the rest of her collection are on her business card and her cards are on your tables as well. If you buy something following this event, there is a 10% discount and that 10% will come back to the charity. So as much as you can uh, uh, avail yourself, you'll be helping us. I'm about to move into the knee part of the evening, which is around the auction and the raffle. Okay, if I can borrow you. Yes. And while I'm calling Kay, and since it's on a matter of and cake, I want to remind you that there is cake at the back of, <laughs> of the hall. So when you've got that sweet tooth feeling after you've had your dinner, that rum cake and the Gambian drum cake is definitely available with plates at the end. I won't pull table by table, so go and help yourself as and when you want to. Okay, if you guys all have your raffle tickets that you bought to have, you know? You haven't bought raffle tickets? Are you not? Oh, but you know what? You make a very good point. I'm going to pause for five while somebody else goes and sells some more raffle tickets, and then I'll come back on stage. Johnny, play some tunes for me for a minute. Sarah Kunda, I get 
table number one? Right? Fourth on the list is three six six three hundred and sixty six. Island, 
Barakunda, Basse, Farafeni, Bakoti, Kololi, Fatoto, Janjabura. Pronounce for me, sister. Janjabure. Thank you very much. Sova, Lamin, Sanyang, Bakau, and Basang. There was also Krista Kundi on the far right that we split you up between Krista and Kundi. And Nasa are at the very back. You'll find that the paddles in the middle of the table are numbered one to eight. There ought to be about eight of you around the table, so you can take one each. If you plan to bid and you raise your paddle above your head, I'm going to take that as a bid. If you fan your face with the paddle, I'm going to take that as a bid. Gianni and Michael are offering a meal for two uh, at the Ponte Nova Italian restaurant in Crystal Palace. Uh, it's a, a, a three course meal uh, and I am regularly there, which is not necessarily another selling point at all, I just know the food is good. And I'm starting the bidding today for that meal for two for three uh, meals, sorry, three courses. I'm starting. <laughs> I'm starting the bidding at £10. Can I get £10, anybody? Ladies and gentlemen, £10. That's £5 each, ladies and gentlemen, for two people to eat. Do I see £12 anywhere? £12? Lady here has got the bid at the moment at 10 and if I get no other bid, she and her partner or friend will be eating a very nice meal for £5 a piece. And I could have sent her to McDonald's for that. There's £12 over there from the gentleman on the far left. Do I see £15? Fifteen pounds from the lady on the far right. I am going to double up from there. Do I see twenty pounds? Twenty pounds for a meal for two. I would generally say that a meal for one in this restaurant is about sixty pounds a person. So, so at twenty pounds already, I'm coming with you. <laughs> I have fifteen pounds over here at the front with mum. Do I see twenty pounds anywhere? Meal for two in Crystal Palace. Meal for two in Crystal Palace. I see 20. Do I see 25 pounds over there? 25 pounds in stitching. 30 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. 30 pounds here and 32 in the back. I've <laughs> got <laughs> 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 32 pounds at the back at the moment for a meal for two and 30 over in Crystal Palace. Do I see 35 pounds anywhere? I see 35, thank you very much, I see 35 pounds. Do I see 40 pounds anywhere, ladies and gentlemen? At the moment, I'm at 35 pounds, 40 quid. Are you kidding me? That's my money you're bidding with. Are you having a laugh? We're still at 35 pounds in the party. <laughs> Do I see 40 pounds anywhere? We're still talking about 20 pounds for two people each to eat a very nice meal for three and all of the proceedings that I'm raising today is going to the charity. All of those who have donated have donated freely. So this meal and the restaurant owners are donating freely as well. I'm at 35 pounds on the far left. Do I see 40 going once? It's still 35 pounds. Do I see 40 going twice? Then sold to the leadership of our that was a joyous start, thank you very much. My next lot is an appointment with Aaron Hill, who is a hairstylist in Streatham at Red and Black Salon. Now, I met Aaron because he does my wife's hair. And then she forced me to sit down and watch The Voice, where he performed as well and got quite a ways through it. So if he sings whilst he's weaving your hair, you get him to sing in for free. I'm told he is a weaveologist. I have met geologists, I have met biologists, I have met all kinds of geologists. 
we do the best of which we are not. However, I understand the man who is this. So he goes his name. And he's offering his, his services uh, to the winning bidder. Uh, anytime in the next, I think, 30 days. So anybody who just got their hair done, ah oh well. <laughs> or anybody who got it done more than two weeks ago or who's been swimming, I suspect you all to bid. I'm starting the bidding at five pounds. Do I see five? Aaron's work, I understand, is anywhere between 80 and 120 pounds just to weave this stuff into people's hair. So I see five pounds from a lady with number five. Which is the, do I see 10 pounds? It's still my 10 pounds, but since it's 10 pounds, I'm gonna go with that. 10 pounds, six over here, do I see 12? From anybody, 12 pounds. Hello, if you put your hand up again, I'll pull it off. Do I see 12 pounds is over here, do I see 15 anywhere? You don't have any here to weave. So we're still at 12 pounds. Do I see 15? I hear 15, I see 15, I see 15 pounds. Do I see 20 anywhere? Still 20 pounds and we're still in good place. 22 pounds anybody. Is there gonna be a bidding war between the two of you? 20! 20, not correct, 20 here. 20 is a bidding war. 22. 22 pounds at the rear, 25. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25 way on the side. 25 is at the far. Maybe you can sell the people here. I don't know what to do with this place. Do I hear 27 pounds? 27 pounds at the front here, and 27 pounds is feeling like a winning bid. If I don't hear 30, 27 pounds will be the winning bid. 30 pounds, anybody? Going once, twice, and quite rightly to the lady at the front. With the Okay, so we got 27 pounds over here, we got 30 pounds over here. We got 30 pounds over here and it is number eight in the far right corner. Do I hear 35 pounds? This is Yes, no. We have 35 pounds over here, which will also be the winning bid, by the way, if I say go in once at 35 pounds. I say go in twice at 35 pounds. It's now sold to you, my dear. <laughs> treatment for two people uh, at the Bannatine Club. So that is the, um, the as he was, uh, Dragon's Den Duncan Bannatine. Uh, and it, he has uh, several uh, uh, locations. You can log on. Once you've won the bid, you'll get a pin and a code, and that will allow you to go and take up this service of Thai Spa plus a treatment for two. And I'm starting the bidding for the Bannatine Thai Spa treatment. <laughs> at 20 pounds. You see, it's just not rich for folks play, isn't it? 20 pounds far right, you're quite. You get use of all of the uh, uh, services at the Ballantyne Club as well, so there's spa room and the pool and the jacuzzi and all these other bits and pieces. I have 20 pounds, I've started the building in the far right table at 20 pounds. Do I see 25? I see two hands up, so there's 25. <laughs> if I had to go to the other hand, is that 30 as well? No, it's just 25 in two hands. I see 30. Do I see 35? 35 pounds, I see again two hands. I'm gonna take 35 and 35 for 70 pounds. Don't do that to us. 40 pounds. Yes, dear. I see 40 pounds over here, flapping, swinging. Do I see 45 pounds? Do I see 45 pounds? I see 45 pounds in the far right. I can't even see my daughter's arm anymore, so whether she puts it up or not, I'm not even counting that. So I've got 45 pounds in the far right. Do I see 50? Do I see 50? 45 pounds is sounding reasonable for one person to go to the bank time, to be perfectly honest with you. However, if that's where we're at, that's where we're at. I'm seeing 45 pounds once. Do I see 50? I see 50 in the far left, I see 50. Do I, 50 is here? Do I see 55? Is 55 anywhere? I still 
still see 50 pounds, I'm still walking in his far righty direction. Ladies with two hands and four paddles. <laughs> if you hold her hand, she can't do. <laughs> We're at 50 pounds. Are we not? We're at 50, We're at 50 pounds here. You're, you're 52? I think you're 50 Come on now. Do I hear 52 from anywhere? Because if I say 50 pounds going once, I say 60 pounds. We can keep on going with my friend Mr. Scott. We can keep on going. I don't know whether we're going to be ending any time now. Do I hear 62 pounds? There is one other spot day on the lot, fast approaching. Okay, so in case one of you wins and the other doesn't, we are currently at £62.50 pence and I think a packet of sweets. £62.50. 61.50. 61.50. 61.50. 61.50. 60 is about £12, so we're up to £72. Yes, you said it. £72, ladies and gentlemen, with Mr. Scott on the far left going once. 72 pounds going twice. <laughs> so to the gentleman of our Fantastic. <laughs> that was courtesy of Ryan Gibbs and all at Busy Head. And I will thank them. The next lot, ladies and gentlemen, is a gift to us from uh, an organisation that is headed up by a friend of my sister's, and I now know headed up by a friend of my friend's. The organisation is called BelieveUK.org. Pick uh, themselves up without a shadow of a doubt. They are solely involved in the positive change through education and peer mentoring for girls and young women aged 10 to 24. I think their work is fantastic. I heard today that the founder, the young lady sat to the left of my friend, was nominated as African Businesswoman of the Year, I believe, or somewhere there about this year. So I listen to you. Thank you so So we have um, a hand-picked spa day getaway for two. This can be redeemed at the Nutfield Priory in Surrey, or Brands Hatch Place in Kent, Rockery Hall in Cheshire. <laughs> so you can bid for the tickets and you want to spend any money on the travel getting there and back, it's right around here. Coast Foods, your authentic Afro-Caribbean mini-market on number 75 Green Street, Upton Park, London. The mini-market that is committed to providing all Senegambian and African exotic foods and ingredients at very reasonable and affordable prices, from small catfish to bitter tomatoes, and monte mayonnaise to milk powder, wonjo to baoba powder, kinkiliba and borbor, findi, mbahal, and many more. The business will be officially launched on the 30th April 2016 at number 75 Green Street, Upton Park, London. Come to the event and enjoy great discounts and free samples to take home. Contact us today on 0208 548 9752 or 07 796 935 553. The Smiling Coast Foods Mini Market, Upton Park, London, United Kingdom. Shop with us and you will never miss home again. Never miss home. Face Gambia on GRTS, a weekly TV program 
featuring Ninoa Interface Gambia fi ci Angleterre li len doon aduna won ngal kep ah wuro wo jëm nak nga jaji war na mbam ah lu wedd gis bokko ca li nak dañuy inter ba pare fest bu ngon jotta ñu woné lé télé jëre gën jëf programme diina ji ak pencami ci GRTS lepp luy diiné fi ci bitim rew nak la ñu dundé fi suñu diiné ak borom xam xam yi ay debate yu am solo ci walu diiné host of youth plays with interface Gambia make a date don't miss it battling gear show with me lady j here on interface gambia in london on grts i'll be bringing you profile show on interface gambia on grts giving you programs and activities in the united kingdom in birmingham manchester and all other cities we'll be profiling individuals business people and organizations that are doing extraordinary well in our society in the united kingdom every sunday 10 30 p.m They will also provide you with slippers that you can take off <laughs> and dressing gowns that you cannot take off. <laughs> I'm starting the bidding on this lot, ladies and gentlemen, at 20 pounds as well. And since there was one winning lot over there, Ali, Ali, Ali. here, I've got 20 pounds to the and I've got 25 pounds. Do I see 30 pounds? 30, do I see 35? 35, do I see 40? 40, 45. I'm at 60 pounds. I'm at 60 pounds. 65 and 70. I'm at 75 and 80. I'm doing well here. I'm at 85. 85 pounds, ladies and gentlemen, is the winning bid as, this, as it stands at the moment. I've got 90 pounds, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so close. I'm right to reach 95 pounds. Are we going to get a winning bid at 100 pounds, or is this lady going to take her 95 pounds? Good We're at 100 pounds at this moment in time, ladies and gentlemen, and we are going once. £105. Let's see how much you can turn anywhere. Again, this is for two. Stop, stop, stop. You're £105. You're £105. Still going. Going. £52. Pounds. Going. Going. £52. Pounds each. I'm just breaking it down for the moment. Okay. £105 pounds going once. Hundred and five pounds going twice. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. My final lot. My final lot, ladies and gentlemen, comes from my sister's friend. It seems like they've got a lot of friends. <laughs> Latoya who is offering a shellac manicure and petty as a, her salon in Stresser. Um and I don't know quite when you would redeem this and if you buy your nails it doesn't matter because they can stick with you if you want to. Yes, I'm starting the bidding for the fantastic Latoya and her work nailing you up and towing you up and all that good stuff that they do. At five pounds, ladies and gentlemen, do I see five pounds? Five pounds over here, I see ten. I see fifteen. At fifteen pounds in this moment, I see twenty pounds. At twenty pounds, I haven't even looked to the left and be here. Twenty pounds more, we can do just a big toe. Twenty-five pounds, fabulous. I've now got the big toe and the little toes in. So we're Thirty pounds. Thirty-five pounds. I'm now at thirty-five pounds, and it was a winning bid to the right of me. If I say going once. 35 pounds. I can't see. I've got 40 pounds. Hello. That is both hands and one foot. 40 pounds. And you're going to have to wear a sock on the other foot. 40 pounds is the winning bid as it stands at the moment. Do I see 45? Because if I don't see 45, I will say going once at 40 pounds. Going twice at 40 pounds. And sold to the lady in the far right for 40 pounds. Thank you very much for That was fun.
And also must thank, thank my brother and his wife, Charmaine, Alex Epstein, Charmaine, fabulous. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this um, wonderful event. I'm here with May Whittington. Um, she's been doing a lot of work in the Gambia. I'll let you um, let you tell me more about it, May. So um, tell me a little bit more about the work you've been doing in the Gambia for so for, um, for um, thus far, and, and what is, you know how long have you been doing this for? For 26 years now. And um, it's time now to sort of sit back and reflect on what we've done and what a difference we've made. And has it made any difference? The answer is yes, it's made a big difference. But there are all sorts of things that come into it. And uh, progress in some quarters has been a little bit slower than we anticipated. But it was beyond our control, really. Yeah. Amazing. And, and, and what inspired you? You know, where does it all start from? Well, we went on holiday in 1990, and we went to this school as we thought it was, and it was just a tree. And we were sitting under the tree writing with sticks in the sand, and someone was going around to see if they'd done the right thing, and they were just rubbing it out when it was right and making them change it if it wasn't. And that was their school. So from that, we thought that we, we have to do something. So from then on, we went on, and we took materials out there and then we came to the time when we were sending containers out there and then we sent big containers out there with school materials for many schools and we just tried to help in that way and then when um, we decided that we wanted to get a charity together uh, Carol Downs who was with me at the time uh, we decided to start a charity up in 1998 which it was registered in the UK and um, it's been very successful. We've had a slow start but up to press now we've built 20 schools. We've done over 80 hand pump wells um, in villages and in gardens and also open wells, women's gardens, helping hundreds of women. Schools, 20 schools, 20 kitchens, toilet box, school gardens, fencing and everything to keep them going and also we've done women's groups to help them with the gardens to help to feed the children and to feed the villages and from then it's just gone on and more people have joined us and it, you know they've, they've, they've seen what we do because we go and we actually do it ourselves we encourage the women who are very good to get on with what we're doing we have a good contractor that builds the schools but then again, we use local labour so that it gives money into the villages. And we find that's a very successful way. Brilliant, brilliant. That's just amazing the work you're doing there. Um, you, you know, we feel like, you know, we feel inspired. I personally feel inspired. Um, you know, what do you have to say to Gambians, especially the Gambians outside the Gambia? Um, we can also follow suit in some of the work that you're doing in the Gambia. I think like this, that um, if the Gambians want to live outside the Gambia, that's up to them. But their country needs them. It really needs them. If they can't help by coming back to the country and helping there, let them do fundraising and send it back to the Gambia to help their people. Because after all, that's where their roots are. I don't think the Gambian people would turn their backs on their own people. In fact, I'm sure they wouldn't. Thank you, thank you so much, May Whittington. We really appreciate having you here. And hopefully we look forward to seeing you again. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> hey, Masha, guys, we have Masha here in the building um, from Believe um, here in the UK. Masha, tell me, tell me, first of all, before you tell me about yourself, what do you think about this event? I think this event was awesome. The entertainment fresh from um, Gambia was absolutely amazing. Um, it's a great cause. I think the team have been dedicated in Gambia and it's just shown throughout the whole evening and yeah, I'm, I'm humbled, I'm humbled, yeah. Now tell me about Belize. Okay, so Belize UK is an organisation that works with girls from the age of 8 to 24 and we're all about empowering them, so supporting them in believing in their dreams and really supporting them and turning those dreams into reality. We believe that 
the, the, the best thing you can wear is your confidence. So we really support girls in raising their confidence and self-esteem, gaining experiences and opportunities so that they can, you know, live their dreams. Amazing, amazing. And, and how long have you been doing this for? So I've been doing this for about three years um, and I've worked with Abby, um, who is one of the um, co-founders of the, the charity. Um, so, yeah. Um, quite similar to Abby and her siblings, my mum died um, and I really wanted to give back. Um, had a fantastic mum, she was phenomenal, really supported me in raising my confidence and self-esteem and really being successful as a young woman and I really wanted to just give that back to the community so that's why I started Bentley. Amazing. And, and, and where do you see this going? Where do you want to take it? What's the, next, what's the next level for you? I can tell you're passionate about this. I am absolutely passionate. So what I want to be able to do is really support girls in moving into leadership roles within um, the UK, within the world. I think women are so powerful, but what we have to do is really realise that. Um, with the right skills, opportunities and role models, I think it's possible. So one of our strategic aims is really to build the next generation of leaders. And, and how, do you go, how do you go about doing this? So what we do is we have workshops, we have events, we mentor, we do peer mentoring throughout the community to ensure that the girls gain the right skills and opportunities at the right time. That's how we do it. Amazing. Um, Masha, it's lovely having you here. Um, hopefully we can speak more some other time. We'll have you um, on Ben TV or Interface Gambia. And I'm sure the viewers out there, especially the women, are inspired by the work you're doing. I am inspired, so I believe everybody is inspired. Thank you so much for having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the lady that's responsible for those awesome outfits we saw there during the fashion show. Amberly is here in the house. Amberly, talk to me. Express yourself. How did this whole thing start? Um, well, basically about five years ago, uh, I had always had the experience of going to tailors with my designs and then I was going for a 50th birthday party and I had this material that my friend bought me back from Nigeria and I just decided to sew it myself. So I went and bought a machine and stitched my first dress and that was the start of it all. Amazing. So how is this going through now as a business? How are you getting yourself out of Um... Social media, um, word of mouth. Yeah. I was also mentioned on the um, African Culture blog oh, nice. Nice. as top 50, um, which I didn't even know, but somebody oh, nice. messaged me and oh, said, nice. oh, look. Awesome. So, yeah, that was pretty good as well. And Some of the outfits you had there, the hoodies, were, 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 were nice. Thank you. They were nice. Thank do you. Can you make some for guys? Yes, I do. Like, the, the bomber jackets why, are why, unisex. Why did you have me there, you know, to... I would have done that for you. I, I would have done that. I mean, with a charge, of course, but I would have done that. <laughs> um, you know, Amberly, it's amazing speaking to you. you. Keep doing the work you're doing. I'm sure people are inspired. There's a lot of inspirational energy going on in here. And hopefully we'll speak to you soon. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> um, ladies and gentlemen, um, we've come to the end of um, this whole program. We've come to the um, end of speaking to, you know, some of the committee members and some of the founders of this. Um, of this amazing organization. Um, I think, like I said before, um, we are inspired, we are, we are driven to do something in the Gambia. Um, you know, May said it, May Whittington said it, that, you know, it's our home, we can't turn our backs away from it, even though we've decided to be, um, you know, in this part of the world. Um, we're definitely inspired. But one thing definitely stood out for me today, um, these guys are, are driven, these guys want to see change, and they're doing it because for change. They're doing it for the love that they have, for people and the love that they have for the Gambia. Um, you know, I hope that that's the same drive that motivates um, other organizations that we have and other charities that we have. Uh, and, and I hope that they see this as an opportunity to really be a blessing to the lives of our brothers and sisters back home and, and really represent change and really represent uh, development. But this has been an amazing um, event. Um, hopefully when you guys get a chance to see um, this on TV, you'll see the standard and, and also you would um, look forward to setting the, the bar even higher in doing the things that would genuinely transform the lives of the Ghanaian people. They mentioned it, they said education. Um, education will set the standard. The more people know, the more people can do. Um, and I think
seeing that organization focusing on education will make a great change. And um, some of these organizations that we are here today, particularly um, uh, Except, has, has done an amazing job with getting this point across. Um, thank you once again, and we'll be um, right with you guys soon. Thank you.